the National Exhibition Centre at Birmingham, scene of the 1984 British International Motor Show. Now biannual, the show is still one of the most important shop windows on the business in the whole of Europe. Here the motor industry shows off its finest, the exotic, the unusual and indeed the genuinely important. Welcome to the Ford stand at the 1984 show where I shall be leading you around some of the exciting new features Ford have planned for this car. Unquestionably the most important family car on sale in Britain, the Ford Sierra of course. And the first thing that has to be said about this particular car is that it is not a Sierra gear. And yet you're saying to yourselves it has the Sierra gear front. Quite right, it does. The designers reckon that everybody liked that slotless front so much that they've incorporated it now onto all the petrol engined L and GL saloons and estate cars. Now that's given them an opportunity to redesign the front bumper, to get better engine and brake cooling, and to incorporate a front spoiler air dam there at the bottom. There's some exciting new colours too. This one's in Paris blue. Now here's a discreet improvement, this thing. It's called an aero strake. Now a strake is a term used in aeronautical engineering and it's a term used for a device which improves the lateral stability of an object when it's moving forward. So this thing will enhance the resilience of the car to crosswinds. That aero strake is fitted to all the saloon Sierras except the XR4i. This is the XR4i for 1985 and what Ford have done here is to give the customer more car for his money. So now a tilt slide sunroof is a standard feature as is central locking, tinted glass and front power windows. One or two things have gone. The XR4i motif that used to be here on the third side window has disappeared and that very bright red insert that was in the bumpers is now a discreet dark red. I guess the thinking behind this is that everybody is so well aware of just what a performance car the XR4i is in reality, that it doesn't have to shout about it. There's some nice changes to the interiors too. This is the new Fife trim on the Sierra L. The trim is carried over onto the doors and on both the Sierra leading car and the L, the doors now feature the new softer armrests and high series door pulls. In addition to its new exterior wheel trims, the GL is really quite new too. This is the strobe and velour fabric trim. Very nice it looks as well. All the GLs now carry a five-speed gearbox and the petrol engine cars have a standard fit tachometer. And have you noticed these? These are the new head restraints for the Sierra saloons above the lead-in model. They're smaller. The idea is that rear seat passengers get better visibility while still, of course, meeting all the safety regulations. All gear models, of course, offer very high feature levels, but this one is fitted with some important options which will give you some very good sales opportunities. The first is this. It's an integrated air conditioning system, very similar to the one fitted to the Granada Gear X. Now, if you know anything about Granada air conditioning, you'll know it's very good indeed, and this is no exception. This is available on 2 and 2.8 litre cars. The next option is available on 2.3 litre diesels as well. This variable ratio power steering. Now the idea of this is that the steering remains very light at low speed, so it's ideal for parking, but the feel starts to come back, the power assistance disappears as you go faster on the motorway, for instance. Another good option. And finally, for two litre cars only at the moment, this. Not just an automatic gearbox, but a very significant engineering introduction, the new Ford A4LD four-speed automatic gearbox. Let's take a look inside. What the Ford engineers have succeeded in doing is producing an automatic gearbox which produces economy figures within 1% of those achieved by a conventional 5-speed manual gearbox. What's more, the gearbox doesn't reach top speed in top gear, that's in fourth. It reaches top speed in third. Then as you back off the accelerator, it slips into fourth gear for a real overdrive effect for relaxed, economical, high-speed cruising. 
Now you're not stuck with this gearbox as a four-speed unit. There are two drive positions. On D, you just get a conventional three-speed gearbox. On DE, the gearbox will, if you let it, slip effortlessly into that overdrive cruising fourth ratio. What's more on those positions, first, second and third ratios will freewheel when you lift the throttle. In other words, you back off the accelerator and the engine will reduce itself to idling speed, saving valuable fuel and increasing economy all round. All in all then, this gearbox is really impressive. You should be able to sell it and you should be able to sell it really well. On the engine front for 1985, all 1.6 Sierras will take the overhead cam engine, previously called the Emax unit. That's the one with the superb economy and excellent performance. There's a new 1.8 litre overhead cam engine available too on L's, GL's and Gears. Ideally positioned in terms of its cubic capacity to meet the personal tax break point on company cars. Now this unit features electronic spark control which automatically ad adjusts the ignition timing in terms of three things. The speed of the engine, the load of the engine and the temperature of the coolant. It also has here an electric heater in the manifold for very much improved cold start characteristics. And all these things contribute to give this engine some pretty amazing economy figures. On a Sierra Saloon, the 1.8 engine will produce an average 47.1 miles per gallon at a constant 56 miles per hour, 37.2 miles per gallon at a constant 75, and 31.4 on the urban cycle. It's the advanced electronics which have produced significant refinements too in the 2 litre unit. Now, this engine will still produce 116 miles an hour when fitted to a 5-speed saloon. It still produces the same power and torque, but the ESC2 microprocessor engine management module has now produced rather better overall economy figures. This is how they look. The 2 litre overhead cam unit produces 48.7 miles per gallon at a constant 56 miles an hour. 38.2 at 75 and 27.4 on the urban cycle. You know, wherever you go on this stand, not just with Sierra, you will hear and see stories of improvement and engineering benefit, and that's just as it should be. The days are quite gone when it was enough merely to whack a few flashy extras onto a car to try and boost sales. No one will put up with that anymore. As you know only too well, today's customer is a highly knowledgeable person. If you claim benefits, then he must see them. And I'm delighted to be able to report that in the 85 Sierra, they're all there, just waiting to be sold.